Okay, so I am just working on row 31 and I'm just adding this double crochet row um, just to give the border a little bit of substance um, so it will frame it even better. Just move my microphone over just a little bit. Sorry. There we go, and you just, so double crochet, I mean at this stage, if you've been following the pattern, you should know how to do a double crochet, or a single crochet if you're from the US. Just take your hook through, and pull your yarn through, and then yarn over. Now with crochet, you will always be pulling through your wool, because that's what connects it, it's like connective wool, connective glue, and you just work, like so, all the way through. So all your rounds. And then, um, <coughs> excuse me, on your pattern, all of your stitches should be there to tell you how many you need to have on specific rows. But I am going to try and guide you through a little bit more because as we get more complex, you're going to need to know. Um, as long as you've got an equal amount on each side, that's what matters the most. So just make sure you just double check in your sides, especially with it being a square. So I'm going to come back in a moment and I will continue this post and then we'll go through um, the half trebles, no sorry, the um, front post and double crochets that we'll be working on um, to create our framework. Don't forget this is not a race. So just take your time and enjoy the process um, as you're working. Um, don't worry too much about where, where you're at. I know I've already said this in some of the videos, but again, every video is probably a few hours between. <laughs> so they're all a little bit different. Um, so yeah, just remember it's not a race. You set your own pace. Um, and it's entirely up to you what speed you go at. I don't want you to feel inferior or that you're not working fast enough. Everybody's got different lives, different needs, different um, things that they have to do with their families. Let's make this a little bit skinky, getting out of focus. Um, so don't feel that you're behind. You're not. You're just working through um, different things. No one's the same. Everybody works at different speeds. Even I'm struggling to get the chapters on. So it's uh, it's been pretty hard the past few weeks because we've had my son move back home. We've had decorating going on in the house. So recording has been near and impossible. So sometimes you just got to go with the flow of what's happening rather than getting frustrated, getting disappointed and just do what you can when you can and enjoy it when you do it. I am actually really enjoying making this blanket again, even though it's in different colours. I know it's probably possibly confusing for you, but I can never make anything again in the same colour. So, right, that's that part, and I can hear everybody getting up because it's very early in the morning. I've tried to get some quiet time, but you're going to have to bear with me. Okay, so I've been working on the um, back post, as you can see. Here. We've got the first row that we did just underneath, and then we're working double crochets with a double treble okay so again we'll just go quickly recap on some of the stitch placement um that we've talked about before especially with doing front and post because it can get slightly confusing so so the way that it works is that we'll do two double crochets into each corner with a chain two and then another two, double two crochets we'll then work three double crochets here and then begin our front post three double crochets and then our front post three double crochets and then our front post but when you do your front post and i probably said this on other videos but i'm going to make sure that i say it on this again just so you know each and every time that you do it hopefully me re-emphasizing those points will help you then pick it up so let me just take it back to here actually i could start here where i am anyway so of course i've I've already done my three double crochets. Hang on, I've got my wool cut. So, 
Let's just reposition that wall. So three double crochets have happened there. I'm going to skip this post here because the front post that I'm going to do is going to live in this space here because it's going to live in this vertical space right there. Now normally each stitch would go into each stitch head but because I'm going to anchor it here I don't require this space here which means I'm going to skip that stitch because I don't need a stitch to live there. If I did that means I'm increasing my stitches because then I have a front post and a double crochet sitting in that same living space. Okay, so when you do a double treble, yarn over and then yarn over again. So you've got three loops or two wraps plus your loop. Then take your hook underneath because we're doing a front post. We need the post to be in front of our hook. Yarn over again, pull that through and you should have four loops. Okay, go for the first two, then the second two. Now you don't need to do these extremely tight either. Can you see how I'm just pulling through at a nice rate and you get that nice length. If it is too tight and you can feel it pulling down, it's, you know, it's, you're going to get some pull. It's going to happen. But as you work on your stitches, they will then flatten out. But at the moment, there isn't much to pull against or to pull it out, should I say. So it will pull slightly, but you don't want it pulling so it's like, it's literally like that. That would be too much. Okay, so we skip the stitch behind. So if you're not sure which one it is, can you see how the loop is around this stitch here, but there's nothing in this one here. So if I was to pull, I can see that, that double crochet pulls with me. So I'm going to go into this stitch here and then work those three double crochets like so. And then yarn over and yarn over again. So you've got three. Miss that one and then go into this one. Okay, yarn over. So you have the four loops. Now what I tend to do is I pull up a little bit so I've got a little bit of height. Can you see how that's extended slightly? Then yarn through two, yarn through the next two, and then the next two. Sorry about any background noise. I'm afraid I cannot find a quiet space even when the house is empty because everyone's doing their gardens and drives. And it's too hot to have the window open, um, shut and it's too noisy to have the fan on. <laughs> so I've got, I'm, I'm at an impasse as to what I can and can't do right now. So three stitches there, pull up and then go round. Pull up a little bit and then go for the first two, then the next two and then the next two. Okay, miss that stitch and then do your next three and so on. Make sure you count them before you move on. One, two, three. Yarn over again and then go underneath, pulling your yarn through, pull it up a little bit and then just pull through. So you can see how I extend these slightly. Wait for the camera to kick in and focus. Skip that stitch behind. Again, if you're not sure, pull on the stitch, see which one stitch pulls, and you skip the one that isn't got, hasn't got anything in and go to the next one. One, two, three. Okie dokie. Wrap around again. Skip the first double crochet or moss stitch and go to the next one. Yarn over, pull three. And eventually you will find your rhythm. Skip that stitch, make sure you're doing it because nothing can live in there but the, the post. We'll have a look at behind the work in a minute just so you can see how it correlates. Okay, yarn over again. Skip that middle stitch and go to the next one there. Pull up slightly. Loop two, loop, loop one, loop two and loop three. Skip that stitch behind. There you go. It will feel weird when you do it because you'll want to put something in that space. But, and you'll think you've overdone it. But when you look back, you can see how everything is nice and uniform. So if you haven't missed that stitch, you can look, miss the stitch there, look. Can you see that? And we've skipped the stitch there. But when I say we've skipped the stitch, we actually haven't skipped a stitch. All we've done is we've just ignored this stitch place, this stitch placement. 
So it's not about um, skipping a stitch as such. We're still retaining the amount of stitches we have on that row, but it's where we put that stitch. So it's about stitch placement. If the stitch is living vertically, as you can see, it's living directly below, it's still within that stitch space. It's just that it's not anchored to that particular stitch on that particular row. It's linked below. But the stitch count will remain the same. We're not losing a stitch. We're not gaining a stitch. We're making sure that that stitch placement stays within that space. And that's what you need to do. So on each corner, you will work your corner group. You will work a double crochet, two double crochets, two chains, and two double crochets into that one. You'll then work three. You'll then continue this repeated pattern until you come to the end, and then you should land on three um, double crochets and then your corner on the very end. Okay, and that's what you need to do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come back round and we're going to do another double crochet and front post, but this time we won't be doing a double treble, we'll be doing a double. Um, half treble front post so it'll be slightly shorter but what it'll do is it'll give a bit of strength and a bit of substance to the post that we've already made so I'm going to come back to you shortly and hopefully I'll have enough time to do this before I have to go to work <laughs> thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel please check over at our website and our social media pages and you can enjoy our free blog pattern that goes with this video there you go bye